slow low with slow low music right here on YouTube with my man Kane Beats right here. The next hottest producer, he out there. He hot, you gotta check him out. YouTube exclusive, straight from Atlanta to the shot of Texas, LA. We everywhere, check us out. Shout out slow low. This ain't the last you gonna see of us. No. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Much love. about myself just because at the end of the day it's when I made the beat it was something I like I sat on it and I was like yo this is whack I'm nobody didn't like this and my homeboy was like oh man that beat's crazy man I promise you it's crazy and I'm like yo man and if you're any of my other production I do a lot of drums I do a lot of snare rolls a lot it's just real big and and me not doing all that on this record it gave it an opportunity to go a little further than some other records usually do so um I made the beat I sent everybody trying to get courses to it and people were just like, it's hot, but I don't really know what to do with it. So when Wayne heard it, I don't know, he all of a sudden knew it was a single. Before we even had a chorus, he had everybody do their verses. I remember he was saying like, yeah, just rap about girls and stuff. Just telling everybody, just rap about, you know, just do you, rap about a girl. And then um, we went through like, crap, we had to go through like eight hooks, man. Neo wrote a hook, Pleasure P wrote a hook, Lloyd wrote a hook, and Morion wrote a hook. It was like eight different verses. Two of them ended up leaking. And then Wayne was just like, yo, we just gonna let the people choose. And eventually, when the spins picked up, and you notice everybody was playing Bedrock. And I don't even remember what the Morion one was, but um, nobody was playing it. So it just kind of grew on its own. It was really one of the records that it was out a while, and then after people started hearing it, I saw it just pick up. And it taught me a lot, because I'm like, all right, well, it really doesn't take all that, everything I used to do. Sometimes you just need the catchy melody that everybody can relate to. People can replay it, and come in their head, and just, I don't know, it, was, it wasn't one of those records I thought was going to do good, but once it did good, I, I, I understood what was going on, and it was able to give me to recreate sounds like that, recreate, keep getting on the billboard. I knew what, I knew how to blend my sound, the drums I used, but use the chords and stuff of like pop records, gospel records, all the stuff you hear on the radio, you know what I mean? When you mix the two, it's easy to get on the radio like that. Awesome, so yeah. let's talk about your, um, your creative process. I mean, I've talked to a lot of producers, and they have different you know, methods of going in and working. Um, what, what, what seems to work for you? Being in there with the artist, or are you making the beat or doing it and sending it to them? Or? Man, it really depends, you know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes, like when I was working on Gucci, working with Gucci, we worked a lot in the studio. But then none of the records I made, we did it in there and made the album. So I was kind of like, man, I'm not sure what's going on. But with Wayne, we worked in the studio maybe once or two times. And every other time I was just in there, I was giving them beats, so I was sending them beats. Because Wayne, depends on the artist. The artist like Wayne, he doesn't need you to guide him. Because it's not like, what are you going to tell him? You're not going to tell him you don't like his hook. Because he's going to look too crazy. So you're going to be, you just in there working. But it depends on the artist. When I'm working with new artists, and I get more control, I'm definitely in the studio. I'm definitely trying to make the beat with him. I'm definitely trying to help him write. Because at the end of the day, I feel like my ear is a little bit better than your ear. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this. But if I'm working with somebody who's already on, and they know what they're doing, it's just you might save time by just emailing the beat, because a lot of artists don't work like that no more. A lot of artists don't, aren't even comfortable. Like Wayne's not really in the studio, a lot of producers, unless it's Cool and Dre, or people you really grew up with, you know what I mean? So, for me, creative, the creative process is, I always start with the drums, do something simple, you know what I mean? And then, um, really it's all about the music though, because the drums, you can, you can change any time. You know what I'm saying? But the music, and having something original that's catchy, is always the best. So once I do the music, I play around the keyboard for maybe six hours. I remember some, I make 10 beats a day and keep one because you just, cause I'm just real skeptical of my own self. So it's really about creating the music and then after you get the music, you get the drums all over again because that's the easiest part. People say my drums are always crazy and I'm like, that's the easiest.